A few years ago, I made a video called My Top 5 Best Tasting Tomatoes. At the time I'm doing this video, that video has received over 360,000 views and over 2,000 comments and responses to comments. In that video, I also ask people to list their top 5 best tasting tomatoes. I spent several hours going through those comments one evening, and I wrote down each person's number one favorite. I kept track of how many people listed each type of tomato. And that's how I got this list of the top 10 best tasting tomatoes according to viewers. I've grown all of the top six myself, but I haven't grown seven through 10. I'll start with number 10 and then we'll go up to number one. Since I haven't grown seven through 10, while I'm listing those, I'll just show you some random tomato clips of my tomatoes that I've grown in the past and maybe a few from this year. At number 10, we have a tie between German pink and pineapple. At number nine, we have black from Tula. Number seven and number eight are tied, and they are Kellogg's Breakfast and Sun Sugar, which is a cherry tomato. Number six on the list is one that I have grown before, so you can take a look at some of the ones I grew. Coming in at number six is Mortgage Lifter. What you see here is one of the two Mortgage Lifter plants that I grew several years back. One thing I like about Mortgage Lifter is the trusses of blooms are very large and they end up setting a lot of tomatoes. I grew two plants that year and each of the plants set over 40 tomatoes. One thing that I noticed about Mortgage Lifter is they did better in years that were milder and seemed to struggle in our hot summers. These homemade tomato cages are five feet tall and as you can see, we even have tomatoes out of the top of the cages. And as you can see on this plant, we've got tomatoes from the top of the cage to the bottom of the cage. Now I'll show you what one of them looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's not the meatiest tomato, but there's quite a bit of meat and the taste is also very good. Coming in at number five on the list of best tasting tomatoes, according to viewers, is Paul Robeson. I only grew this one one year because even though it was a good tasting tomato, it just wasn't quite as productive as I like. Here's a look at one on the inside. As you can see, it's a very meaty tomato and it's got a look similar to carbon, turkey purple, rosella purple, brony, and maybe a few others. It is a great tasting tomato. The next tomato on the list might surprise a few folks. It's a cherry tomato called Sun Gold. We have Sun Gold tomatoes growing in our garden right now, and even in September, it's loaded with tomatoes. As I've mentioned before, I'm not a huge fan of cherry tomatoes, but Sun Gold are a little bit different. They're so tasty and sweet, you can eat them just like candy. Number three on the list is Brandywine. There are a few different types of Brandywine tomatoes now. The original Brandywine is pink Brandywine, and the one you're looking at here is red Brandywine. I lumped them all together, but it wouldn't have made any difference if I had enough because number three here finished far ahead of number four, but far behind number two. Number one and number two on the list finished far ahead of any other variety. And number two on the list is black creme, spelled with a K. Of all the tomatoes that I've ever grown, the best tasting tomato that I ever had in my life was a black creme. Although taste can vary from year to year depending on growing conditions. But the viewers didn't agree with my assessment, so they placed black creme at number two. Before I tell you what number one is, just for the fun of it, list your top best tasting tomato down in the comments. Without any further delay, number one is Cherokee Purple. 
As you can see on the inside, it's a very beautiful tomato. It's got that dark, rich color, and it's got that dark, rich taste. Just looking at this clip is making my mouth water. If you had room to do it and could grow all of the tomatoes on this list, I think your taste buds would thank you. I hope you've enjoyed watching this top 10 best tasting tomatoes according to viewers. And if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.